Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to set up a dual PC stream using the Elgato HD60S. We're only gonna be focusing on the input side of the HD60S since we'll be doing all our monitoring on our streaming PC. So first thing, let's take the HDMI cable, plug it into the input side of the HD60S and take the other end of the HDMI and plug it into the GPU of your gaming PC. Next, we'll be taking the USB cable that came with the capture card, it should be a USB-C to USB type A. First, we're gonna take the USB-C side of the cable and plug that into the capture card. Then we'll take the USB type A end of the cable, plug that into a USB 3.0 port the back end of our streaming PC. All right, so now let's slide over to our gaming PC. You're gonna right click anywhere on the desktop. You're gonna to go to NVIDIA control panel. Once that window pops up, you're gonna see a bunch of options on the left-hand side. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down to set up multiple displays. Go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna see a window pop up that's gonna have two boxes at the bottom, one and a two. The box with the number one representing your actual monitor and the box with the number two on it is going to be your capture card. Basically what we're doing is we're telling Windows that we're gonna be using the HD60S as a display. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the one, we're gonna hover over clone with and select the two. And basically what we've done by clicking apply is now we're cloning whatever is on our main monitor over to the HD60S. Go ahead and click yes. And we are done on the gaming PC. So here we have End of the Breach booted up. We wanna get this video feed over into our streaming PC. So that way it can be captured by OBS. So let's slide over to our streaming PC. So we're just gonna start off by making a brand new scene. So we're gonna right click on the scenes. You're gonna hit add. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna type in capture card. And then we're gonna add a source. We're gonna to go to video capture device. Also for the sake of the video, we're gonna name this HD60S, even though I'm never really that organized. So normally, I know in my case, when I first set this thing up, it, the video feed didn't pop up automatically. It did on this video just because I was already tampering with this before I hit record. But in the event that you don't see anything, all you have to do is just scroll down, select the capture card in the device list. Uh, you're probably gonna have to pick your resolution type, which uh, in this case is gonna be 1080p. And then you just choose your FPS. Normally 60 is the one you wanna shoot for. Uh, then go ahead and scroll down. Nothing else really needs to be messed with. And then we're going to hit OK. There's no additional audio devices that need to be set up either because all the audio is being ported through the HDMI. So you will see the capture card in the OBS mixer as a standalone audio device. So I've had a couple issues where the audio was not being sent through the HDMI over to my streaming PC. Usually would happen after a Windows update or I turn my computer off for the night. If you ever run into that issue, just go ahead and hit the Windows button type in change system sounds. Then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the playback tab. You're going to want to find your HD60S, click on properties, go over to levels. And this is where I've seen this little box right here has had an X through it. So for some godforsaken reason, Windows decides to mute the capture card. So just go ahead and uncheck that and you should be good to go. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.